everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Return, a silhouette action platformer. Kind of, sort of, Souls-like Metroidvania. I don't know how much Metroidvania or Souls-like it's going to be, but that's just the vibe that I got from it. Uh, but it has a really... It's kind of a limbo -y art style, but not quite. Uh, but it's got a... It, it's really nice looking with a lot of, like, layered levels of kind of similar colors. Uh, You'll see as soon as we get in, but it really caught my eye. Ooh, planet's ecosystems are shutting down. Natural resources are scarce. Chaos and wars rage as the remaining inhabitants reach for the stars. Journeying to off-world colonies is their last hope. After scraping up enough money for a ship, you leave behind your old life in search of a new one on the colonies. You set your ship to autopilot and prepare for cryosleep. I don't want to, like, press A in case I skip more intro here. This can't be. We've turned back. There's something wrong with the ship. An error. I don't have permission to overwrite the ship's program. I can wake up, the, wake up and reprogram the ship manually. The ship was only loaded with enough cryogenic fluid for a one-way trip. You won't be able to return to cryosleep, and the nearest colony is another hundred years away. What other choice do we have? I guess. There isn't one. When we return home, I'll fix the ship myself. Okay, how long would you like this dream to last while we wait? Ten years. Program has been adjusted. Let's make the most of our time together. I love the parallax and the, the different levels of, like, atmospheric layers. I don't know. It's a nice, nice aesthetic. Are you ready to wake up? Yes, I'm ready. Before you wake up, I've loaded the combat training simulation as a refresher. You've been asleep for a long, long time, and who knows what's out there. Thank you. Guess this is it? Be careful out there. So much has changed since we left. I love you. I love you too. Goodbye, my love. So is it like an AI, or what? Who is this? Welcome to basic training, soldier. Oh, right. Simulation will have you combat ready in no time. I'm ready. Excellent. Let's begin with melee combat. Go to the dummies, practice with your sword. Once you're satisfied with your melee skills, return to me for your next objective. Okay, so I've got a roll. I've got right trigger for swing. And we can also swap weapons, potions. Cool. Okay, oops. Drank a potion, shouldn't have done that. Did any of the face buttons do anything? Except for roll, the answer seems to be no. Great work, you've definitely handled a sword before. Let's move on to firearms. Oops. Okay, return to me once I've unloaded a clip into the dummies. Done. How do I... How do I re reload? Ah, that's how you reload. So I have to stop to reload. That was some sharp shooting back there. You're natural. Time to work on combat maneuvers. Follow me to the next objective. I like the music. Die! Probably shouldn't do that. You look worn out. Try switching to a large health potion and consume it. Return to me once you're feeling better. That's better. Now for your next task. I want you to pick up that rifle. Enter your inventory and then equip the rifle. Okay, Kost Kvostov. Oh, I see. Once you've equipped the rifle, return to me for your final objective. What? Oh. I guess it's got to be in slot one. Or maybe I just... Hmm. Got a reliable weapon there. Reload it and take some shots at the dummies up ahead. Once you're satisfied, return to me and your training will be complete. Oh, I was assuming this would actually be like a much faster shooting gun. It's more of a carbine. Well, works for me. That's the reload. Very fast. Good work, soldier. I'm confident you'll excel in the field of battle. Are you ready to exit the simulation? Yes. Good luck, soldier. I like the aesthetic. I like the music. Where am I? Huh. 
Let's not do that. It... Okay. I'm gonna alt-tab. A number of these sound effects are not actually affected by their sliders, so the game has, like, a really uneven track to it. So I'm gonna just turn everything down, then turn everything back up again. It is not a WanderBot video without some level of audio tweaking. The problem is, I really wish I could tell, uh, Microsoft Windows... I don't know why I have to save Microsoft Windows. I really wish I could tell it, like, hey, when, um... Oops, no, that's not it. Treasure ship, ship parts, grimoire. Oh, that ain't it. Ah, here we go. Uh, I wish I could tell it, like, please, just for the sake of my own sanity, um... You know, stop at the fives. You know, I don't want to be at 21. I want to be at... Uh, I want to be at 20 or 25. You know, don't give me any of these, like, weird in-between numbers that don't feel good. Oh, I see people hanging. The whole planet's been kind of overgrown and actually looks quite nice. Hey, thank you, Violent Kitten, for the 11 month resub. This game looks so nice. It does! Like, this is one heck of an aesthetic here. Now, can I check a map? Ship parts, treasure, key items, weapons. I'm in a forest. And yeah, there's graves everywhere. Ow. Okay, it's dead. We also get a mastery point. Hey, so it's got some RPG mechanics. I don't know what wreck is. Probably some kind of currency. Oop. Okay, so this thing is a uh, little bit harder. I'm also noticing I'm doing like a double roll, which I think is my controller's fault. Let me fix that. Oh, it's, it's not my controller's fault, it's my Bluetooth. I've got like a really crappy $10 Bluetooth USB dongle, and the problem with it is that it, uh, it eats inputs like crazy. Oh, I should have thought about that earlier. Oh. Okay, I gotta get away from the trees. Ow. Oh, it makes weird sound effects. There we go. So, get some mastery points. Let me take a look at some of this stuff. Treasury, ship parts. Acquired, installed, no. Grimoire. So, we got the behemoth snail and the acidic snail. So, what does mastery get me? Oh. Interesting. So you can actually see you level up with these weapons. So level one stamina, attack speed, damage, knockback, combo modifier. Oh, wait, no, it's here. So do we upgrade this weapon? Maybe. Level 210 costs me five. I seem to get plenty of these, but that might slow down. So I'm gonna... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we might as well. I might as well upgrade this weapon. Okay, so there's attack speed, stamina reduction, probably. Knockback and combo modifier. I think the... Smartest thing that I could do... Is... Upgrade the heck out of it. Do a little bit of knockback. The combo multiplier is interesting, but I don't know how practical that's going to be. The next computer needs an integrated Bluetooth for sure. Yeah, I was eyeballing some parts, hoping I could find something, and I was having trouble. The Baron foretold your arrival. Who's the Baron? Oops. You will learn in time, Traveler. <laughs> oh, they're dead. Looks like they got messed up by the robots here. Ish. It's kind of a shame there are all these bodies everywhere, because this place is cool. Soldier's Journal and more grimoire. I got like a bunkery looking thing. Some music, but I don't really want to listen to it. 
Are you somebody to talk to? Okay. Okay, it's dead. It looks like I get a decent amount of mastery points just by exploring. So I guess we can probably stack this stuff up. Pretty freely. That's a lot of blood. It's a nice aesthetic, though. If you're a sword-wielding spaceman? Yeah, more or less. But yeah, I also do have gun. Uh, yeah, I don't think I know how to deal with that at the moment. This is incredibly cool. Like, obviously it's going to be a little hard to parse. Nope. But on the flip side, like, the exploration, the visual style, the music, the ambiance, and honestly the combat, the combat feels really good. Oh, it's an elevator. I'm just going to wander the heck off. I'm going to get super lost. Who is this person? I have no idea. Courtyard key and some more wreck. So this brings me back here. I wonder if we're kind of back at the beginning. This is probably the Baron. Maybe. I've definitely played a couple of other games kind of in this style with heavy use of silhouettes and not a whole lot of like surface detail. But I think this is by and far the most successful one. The other one I can think of is called, like, The Unworthy or something like that. I forget. Something I should look into at some point. No, I don't think it's going to let me go this direction. Whatever it is, I can't do anything with it. It reminds you a lot of the Limbo art style. Yeah, as it kind of should. Music, though. That music is solid. I'm seeing all these spider tanks in the background, and they're making me a little worried. Not too much, but a little worried. Okay, do we go the other direction? Where I don't know where I go. I wander around. I lived up to my name. Get some ammo. Some other ammo. Let's go back the other direction. Who's here? Oh, boy. Stronghold base camp. Oh, so we have a fa fast travel system. Uh, yeah, let's go back to base camp real quick. So I can now just warp between. That's nice. Yeah, we might as well go here and restock. Oh, the potions are gone. Okay, hopefully we find an, the ability to... Yeah, do we want to go to the base camp? Let's go the other direction now. Uh, let's see. Actually, speaking of... Yeah, I could invest in my guns, but I'm enjoying these. I'm just gonna keep upgrading the sword. At some point, we'll find a different weapon, but it's fine. And it looks like we're limited here. Ooh. These sound effects are hitting me. Like... Audio-wise, this is probably some of the better sound design I've heard all week. Character does not know how to piano. Okay, so we have two doors. This one seems a little... Oh, boy! I forgot what the dodge button was very briefly there, and I paid for it. Yeah, a lot of houses, a lot of skeletons. More ammo. More slightly hidden doors. Drone workshop key, and a silver ring. Anything back over here? No. I do hope we get a map at some point. It just doesn't have to be immediately. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I see another one of those. I'm gonna quickly finish this sword off. That combo bonus is pretty good. Because I effectively want to do a three hit combo and then roll away. Because I do just enough knockback that I can keep them at bay. And then I can just get out of there. It reminds me of Unworthy, but with a sci-fi bend. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. But also better, because it doesn't have the weird, like, uh... Whirlwind to Jesus Christ attackers. That just, like, kicked my ass seven ways to Tuesday and made me quit that game. I should go back to it at some point, because, like, I remember it being actually kind of good. I just also remember it being kind of frustrating. Like, there's a bunch of kind of pseudo souls like games diamond ring and a human skull why would i grab that i have no idea um but a bunch of these like kind of pseudo souls like uh hardcore platformers uh or side side scrollers that have like really cool bits and mechanics to them but they're kind of i don't want to say forgettable cuz i think that's kind of a dismissive way to put it Okay. You're a chunkus. Who? Oh. Who? Oh. oh, wait. What the hell? I'm just back here? No, no consequence? Just... Wow. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait. What the hell is Taurus? Chunk is here is. Yeah. Here's the question. Okay, so it looks like it reset everything. Oh, actually, wait, hold up. Which of these does the most amount of damage? This does, by far. So I'm gonna... Do I still have any mastery points? No, I'm out. Okay, so I'm gonna go back through. I think I was over here. Yeah? What do I wanna do? Is kind of bait this guy. Okay, there we go. Got him. Uh, let's see. Swap. Might as well reload. I don't think I lose a whole clip. No, I do. So I, I want to wait until I'm out of ammo. Hopefully there's a way, there's a shop at some point that I can utilize. Ow. I think it got hit there. But, uh, I was going to say, major points that this game actually just resets you to the start of the room, rather than making you run back from the, um, <clears throat> from your spawn location. Because, like, that's, that's almost kind of more old school in its design, but at the same time, like, I really like that. Okay, there we go. Keeping it away. Yeah, one of the biggest things a game can do to keep from being frustrating is making it fast to get back to the action. Yeah. Or to redo what you've you've done. Uh, or like redo what you just failed at. I'm trying to remember. Okay, so we have an attack drone. We have a new fast travel location in the sewers. 
We have Scav's journal, dog tags, money, ammo, and some more money. You know what? I'm actually, I'm going to quick go back because we can warp. Uh, let's see. Doesn't damage you with the death knell. Oh, it does. I just have to be far enough away that it's not a problem. There we go. Um, but I'm trying to remember which souls likes did it, but like running back to the boss fight always remain one of my least favorite parts of the From Software um, the From Software formula, I guess. Oh, this looks kind of boss fighty. It certainly is kind of eerie. How has nothing come to like just absolutely slam a jam me in the face? Oh, there it is. No! Oh, no! Well, that sucks. I don't know if I actually want to fight that guy. I think I want to go back to... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Are you... I have no choice but to fight this man. Well, that's a problem. Uh, let's see. I got two mastery points. I'm gonna just upgrade my gun. I was like trying to roll through the side blast, but it wasn't working. Uh, cause I I hold right right for a little bit, and he'd immediately hit me with it. Maybe it's one of those where we have to dodge. Ow, rude. Can I just leave? Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a really long hitbox. It's really easy for him to hit me. Yeah, there's no contact damage, but I Oh, I got him. That hurt. Yeah, don't like how the hitbox is separate from the actual flame effect. Yeah, it could be tightened up a little more. I don't think that was as bad as I thought it was going to be, considering how... Actually, let's go back. I'm super wounded, and I know for a fact we've got a... Um... Let's see. I know for a fact we have a fast travel location right before. Seems like the whole idea is uh, get close and keep close unless he jumps up high. Yeah. So. Nah, I don't need that. Um, so the problem was a lot of his attacks were kind of untelegraphed. Ish. Ah, which key? So that's that's why it wasn't tracking, or it wasn't letting me out. Um, but so the jump up did damage. The uh, the wind up on the like psychic blast was really fast, and it had a huge hitbox. So you pretty much had to like kind of roll into it. But if you stayed close to him for too long, he'd actually just also blast you. Um, and I don't want to say it was like a full damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Um, but there were a lot of situations where you just kind of randomly get hit unless you'd seen the f the boss before. Um, 
And so, like, I was kind of trying to do my best to time it while also wailing on him. But, unfortunately, with how fast he'd just blast out those hits, uh, it was pretty easy to just eat, like, a lot more than I wanted to. Like, you guys are welcome to play this game yourselves if you want to criticize me. But I think it's actually going to get on my nerves pretty quick if uh, if I get a bunch of kind of uh, negging just because I didn't play well enough. Are you an enemy? No, he's not. Hello, Traveler. You've reached the end of the ha this half of the demo. Thank you for playing. If you enjoyed playing, consider adding the game to your Steam wish list. Helps the creators a lot. Well, I'm going to do that later. Okay. Uh, let's see. What would you like to do now? Well, if I can get my controller... Hello? There we go. Take me to my ship. Okay, so let's go the other direction. Because it seems like I missed some things. And not criticizing here. I saw a number of other... Uh, I, I definitely saw a couple more people that were a little bit more... Uh, it's snitty. And it's kind of one of those where it's like, hard games are hard, man. Yeah, so there's there's more to that half of the demo. I'm I'm wondering if there's other paths here. Because when I was looking at it, there's two fast travel locations that are not currently... Um, yeah, there's these two, which I haven't been to. But then there's the rest of the stronghold. Why don't we actually go back to the stronghold now that I know I have a reasonable chance at clearing it? Uh, let's see, anything here? Because I want to stay away from this because it seemed a little bit potentially more risky. But I have no no way of knowing. So we've been in here. I think I'm going to have to fight that assassin, probably. I got a different gun. Health potion, wreck, heavy... Oh, no. Actually, he just had resources on him. No actual gun. Yeah, I... I, uh, I don't want to say I necessarily have a bit of a complex when it comes to hard games. But there's always that one, that group of people that love to watch people play hard games for the first time and then get weirdly rude at them for uh, not being good enough on the first go. And it's always, always gets to me. Because I, I, I don't want to say like toxic positivity is where I like to be, but like good vibes are a lot better than being, uh, ow. Like, look at how freaking fast that is. Well, all things considered. Let's see. I was all drink some health potions. Like, I'm just trying to run past this guy, and he's just. Like, I, I'm just trying to get by him. And he just pound, uh, slamma jams me twice. I, I was trying to even bait it so he'd s stop running so fast. Like, the enemies in this game hit quick in a way that I am not quite uh, able to cope with. It's fine, but it's it's one of those that, like, you really are supposed to hit and run barely. I'm just trying to get to the other side of him. And so, like, if there's a bit of a... I... Yeah, you have to roll really early. I, I... Ow. Got him. 
You have to roll really early on that. Uh, just to get the chance to get to the other side. If you're... If he is facing you, he will catch up with you and start whamming on you. Pretty quickly. Um... Yeah, I got him, but that cost a lot of potions. I probably could have done that better. Uh, but it's fine. It's whatever. But, holy shit. Yeah, he is very fast. I, I don't think it's necessarily a problem. Uh, as long as I can get the opportunity to restock on my resources. Uh, like if there's a shop where you can buy a bunch of potions fairly cheaply, maybe? But if you can only ever find them by exploring? Ooh. Ooh, this game is going to be a bit of a war for attrition. I almost want to say that it kind of reminds me of Resident Evil, where the boss fights aren't actually particularly long, but boy, they will come along and just kick you in the nuts um, if you're not prepared for them. And there are serious penalties if you, like, waste too much ammo in doing so. Hello, Traveler. Tell me, do you consider yourself a musical enthusiast? Yes, I do. Oh, sorry. You have culture, Traveler. There's much beauty in the simplest waveforms. Agreed. I'm glad to have met you, Traveler, but you must excuse me. My work calls. Okay. Oh, that might be just like a stand-in for the composer. Okay, so... How much money do I have? Not much. Oh, wait. He has a limited amount, too. Oh, that's rough. But the, he does have a bunch of weapons. The Blazer, the Armads, the Avtomat, and the Breda. And then he also sells ammo. But the, the limited quantity is a little rough. Can you even farm money that easily? Not really, no. So, yeah, you can buy stuff, but I'm, I'm going to go back to my comparison of... Kind of Resident evil -y. You can and will run out of resources here. Uh, and that could be a problem. You can pet the robo-dog. Heck yeah. Yeah, I like that we're seeing weapon variety. I wish they were cheap for the demo just so I could play with them. Just to see what they're like. Because uh, it'd be... Uh, it's kind of a shame to not have more. Okay, reach the end of this half of the demo. Okay, so I think we're... I think we're good for now. So... I like it a lot. The ambiance is great. The aesthetic is incredible. The combat is pretty good. The bosses might be a little too fast. I think they need a little bit of a wind-up. Uh, just so it's a little bit more obvious. Like, oh, you're about to get smacked. Get out of the way. As opposed to smack, 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 smack. Just because you're trying to run at them uh, to get to the other side. So you can, like, roll to the other side. Rather than running away from them. Because, especially with the mage or the witch... The witch would shoot the fire, and you'd have to, like, roll twice to get out of the way. Because the f you couldn't just roll once because the fire was, like, too long range. Um, I don't think it's necessarily bad the way it is. As long as there's some easy way to get more healing items. Because it feels like every boss fight is going to drain me of pretty much all of my potions. And not give me much of an opportunity to get them back. Especially if, you know, the shop runs out of stock after a while. Like, I could see that becoming quite the problem. Maybe if it's one of those that, like, every time, every hour this shop's restock, or a couple of minutes for every visit, or who knows, especially with how expensive they are. Like, sure, you could actually forge through by getting a ton of potions, and just, like, chugging your way through a boss fight, but honestly, I think if a player wants to grind that much to have enough potions to be able to beat something, they probably needed the health help anyway. And forcing them to not do that for the sake of balance is kind of eh. Um, like, I don't know. I Hard games are hard, and having some options to be able to like get around that sometimes is nice. But who knows, maybe for the full release of this game it won't be nearly as rough as I think it is. Uh, but I do hope a couple of minor changes here and there uh, could be made just to make it a little smoother. But for now at least, this is a lot of fun. I like this a lot. And I can't wait to play more. Take me to the Steam page. Not that it's going to matter. Oh, wait. This game doesn't alt-tab well. Oh, no. 
Oh gosh, what is happening? <laughs> oh, actually, it all tabs fine. It didn't all tab well earlier, but I guess this time around it was okay. Oh yeah, and you can also see all of these and their lore. Yeah, the Witch Queen arrived when the energy surged from bombs dropped in the war. She corrupted survivors to protect her while she slept, waiting for the next energy surge to bring her into the next world. The ascended beings that control the queen studied the corrupted in the planet while she slept. And then the Gravekeeper, guardian awoken by the collapse of the planet, protecting the graves of the many deceased after the wars. He will attack all those who would disturb the resting spirits. Yeah, what a cool game. I can't wait to play more of this. But for now, I'm just going to move on. I think there might be some more places for me to explore, but I don't think I need to. So for now, let's move on to the next. <laughs>